Okay, hello Taurus. This is your collective read. Okay, you guys. Um, switch it to how it resonates. Please like and share this video. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this reading, collective reading, can help you in a positive light. Okay, welcome new viewers. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. All right, sit back and enjoy this collective read. All right, get it popping. All right, Taurus's energy. Taurus's energy. Okay, that's two, three, more cards. Horses energy. Okay, one more. Okay, there we go. Five cards. Okay, the sun card. The chariots. Ten of swords. Three of swords. And the four swords. Okay, the sun card. Something's going to be illuminated to you or you make somebody happy. Okay, there's transformation in there. There could be, um, there's abundance in there. Okay, the chariot card, moving on. Somebody wants to move forward with you in a success or this is you want to move forward in a success in a situation. Ten of Swords. Somebody's betraying someone. Okay. Backstabbing someone. Or this is someone seeing you as doing this to them. Feeling like you're doing this to them. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Somebody um, may be heartbroken. You or somebody else in your energy. All right. There may be some emotional distance between you and someone. Okay. Somebody could be going through a separation, okay, as well. Four of Swords. Somebody may be ill. Somebody could be sick with this Four of Swords. Somebody's praying on a situation or meditating, okay, trying to get some guidance in the situation. All right. Or this could be something that someone needs to do. Pray on a situation or meditate so they can see what they need to be seeing that they're not seeing. Okay, let me, I'm sorry, you guys. 
All right, the sun card. Clarify the sun card and Taurus's energy. Okay, somebody, you make somebody happy. Sun card. Cancer, Libra person. You make this person happy and they're standing their ground with you. They're fighting for you. Okay, this person. They're fighting for you. Clarify the King of Swords. Okay, this person is ready to offer a commitment to you. They want a new beginning. Clarify. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups. The King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants... Yeah, they want to offer you a commitment of stability. Clarify the King of Pentacles. They may have Capricorn in their chart as well. This person is very stable, very independent. Star card. They're hoping for a success with you. They're hoping you accept their offer. Okay? So this is what's going on with the um, Taurus. Somebody... Wow, beautiful. I wish you luck in that. All right, the chariot. Yeah, chariot. Clarify the chariot. Clarify this chariot. And Taurus's energy, please. Dang, that's messed up. Oh, clarify the chariot. That was cool. Dang, hit him in his rib. Okay, so somebody wants to to um, move forward with you in a success. They want a victory in doing this. Okay, this is a cancer again. Cancer card. They want a victory. They want a victory in moving forward with you. So this could be the same people as the first one. Same person. Clarify the justice. It doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying. That's Clarify the justice. Clarify the justice in Taurus's energy. Okay, um... Temperance. This person may have been in and out with you in the past. You couldn't take this person serious in the past. This person may used to drink a lot as well in the past. Now they want balance, strength. They want open communication with you. This person. They want um they want you to forgive them. So you guys may have used to fight a lot. They want forgiveness. They want you to forgive them. There was a lot of confusion between you guys. Fighting, arguing, judgment. This person, they may be jealous, judgment. They may have um been like jealous, had a lot of jealousy, like controlling type jealousy. Like over other people. If you had other people in your life, they may have had jealous, been jealous over anybody else in your life. Judgment. Okay, they're wanting to move forward in a success with you. Let me throw one more card on it. Clarify the judgment. Yeah, they want to move to better waters. They want you to forgive them for being in that that energy of arguing with you a lot, fighting with you, and being jealous, okay? All right, they, they're ready to move to better waters, okay? They no longer are carrying that energy of jealousy and wanting to argue with you a lot. All right, moving on to the sword. 
Clarify this Ten of Swords and Taurus's energy. Clarify this Ten of Swords and Taurus's energy. Okay, somebody's betraying you. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. This is another Taurus. Yeah, they're trying to be careful. They're being sneaky. They're, this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's backstabbing you, but they're they're being careful at how they're doing it. And it may be concerning your stability. It may be finances in the area where they're betraying you at. But they're being careful at doing it so you won't find out. King of Wands. And this is something, wow, King of Wands. They're very confident at, they feel that they're very confident at getting away with what they're doing. They're very confident at getting away with what they're doing. Okay? They were a player. King of Wands. So it wasn't finances. They were a player. That's ending. So somebody that was betraying you and backstabbing you, they now value the relationship. Okay? They're no longer in that player energy. That has ended. That's ending. Okay? They want this new beginning with you. They're no longer playing you. They're no longer doing things behind your back, betraying you. Okay? It clarifies the world. And this may be a um, Aries. Air sign with fire. It could be Sag, Leo, and Earth. Clarify, okay? Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person has changed. And before they were stubborn and bossy. And they weren't willing to change at the time. Okay, now they have changed. Okay, they no longer have a lot of options anymore. They got rid of those options. All right? The Nine of Cups. Oh, dang. Okay, clarify the Three of Swords. Moving on. Clarify the Three of Swords. Okay. Um... The Empress. Somebody has a Taurus in a third party situation. And the person may be pregnant. The Empress. A baby. There's a baby. Somebody's pregnant. They got the person pregnant. A Libra. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this person is offering stability. Ace of Pentacles. They're offering a new beginning. They're going to come in and offer you a new beginning of stability. This person wants stability to offer you stability. But they have a third party situation. They have you in a third party. And the person is pregnant. A Libra. The high priestess. Use your intuition. Allow your intuition to show you what's going on. They're hiding the secret from you. They're hiding this third party situation from you. Clarify the high priestess. And this person may be a high, uh, um, very intuitive that they're offering stability to. The person could be a reader or a high priestess person. Or a Virgo. This could be a Virgo or a Taurus person that they're you're a Taurus, but it could be a Virgo or another Taurus. Queen of Swords, okay? You need to cut this person off. That's what you're being. Cut them off. And they've been doing a lot of inner reflecting as well about this. The Queen of Swords. 
You need this person doesn't serve you any good. The person pregnant. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Nine of Wands. This person, wow, they travel to see this person. It's long distance. They travel to see this person. Or if they're living with you, you're being told to kick them out, move, make them move out, cut them off, make them move out. All right? The full card. Take that leap of faith. Don't be scared to take a leap of faith in this situation at getting, removing things out of your life. Okay? Don't be, don't be scared to try something different. In other words, the full card. Okay? This is a fool that you're with as well. <clears throat> okay? Um, four sword. This may be an Aries that you're dealing with. Libra with Aries in their chart. And some Sag. Are there either or those signs? Okay, moving on. Four sword. Clarify this four sword. Clarify this four swords and Taurus's energy. Clarify this four swords. Okay, it's three cards. I'll take it. Okay, so somebody's praying and meditating on you. This person's praying that you are, are marry them or, or enter into something long term with them. Tower. They're praying that, or you're married to this person. They're praying that you guys don't go through a tower moment. They're worried about you guys going through a tower moment in the um, marriage. Or you either have long-term, something long-term with them. This person is, hmm. Oh, wow. Detour. U-turn. There's somebody meditating on your marriage. Taurus. They're trying to cause it. They're meditating, praying that you're, um, there's, there's a tower moment. Somebody's praying for a tower moment to take place in your marriage. They're praying for destruction in your marriage. Meditating. Three of Pentacles. They're praying for loss. That you lose your marriage. There's a Taurus that somebody's praying on your marriage for destruction to come into your marriage. Clarify this three of pentacles. Wow. Yep. They're praying that um somebody walks away from you from the marriage. Because they want to reunite three of cups. Because they want to reunite with your partner. Nine of Swords, they stay up all night worrying about your partner. They want your partner. Wow, that is crazy. That's deep. An air sign. An air sign is, is praying against your marriage. They're hope, praying that you go through a tower moment within your marriage so they can have you. Or if you're not married, they're praying that um, if um, if you're not married, it's, you're in a long-term relationship. Either you're married or you're in something long-term with someone else. Mm -hmm. And this air sign is praying that you have a tower moment so they can get this moment with you. They miss you. They're hoping you walk away. They're praying that you walk away from your situation so you and them could reunite. <laughs> wow. All right. So that's the end of your collective read. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please um, subscribe, like, and share. Okay. Good night, you guys. Until next time.